Hey everybody, welcome back to the garden. And as promised, we are now going to start using the card expansion. And here's the way it works. At the beginning of the game, before the game starts, everybody gets a hand of three garden cards. Here's my three. Here's Jen's three. All right. These are kept secret. Nobody knows what's in your hand. And whenever you want, during your turn, well, following the rules, like play at the end of your turn, play at any time in your turn, etc., etc., you can play one card per turn. And if you do, at the end of your turn, you draw one card back, so you always have three cards in your hand. Now, maybe, and it, it, it can often be the case that you don't have any cards that you want to play there. None of them are good for your current circumstance. So instead, you could discard a card instead to, um, and so that you'd be able to draw a new card at the end of your turn. And now, the important thing is, that means, you know, every turn you're either, usually you're either playing or discarding a card so you can get better cards or more appropriate cards. And so that means new cards are being drawn all the time. And Splinter, you know, uh, at fairly regular intervals throughout this deck are a bunch of event cards that will change the landscape of the game. There aren't any at the beginning of the game, but before too long, usually um, by this point, after we're three or four turns into the game, chances are an event will have happened. So let's go on ahead and just pretend we had been playing or discarding cards up till now so that until we found an event. All right, so let's see. So somebody at some point had an epic sunset. Somebody did some co-op gardening. Somebody had a squash medley. Somebody... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So there's a heat wave. This is the event. Let's say at the end of Jen's last turn, she had discarded a card and she had revealed heat wave. We now have, and this heat wave will remain until we go through the deck and draw another event to replace this. Now what this means is, while this card is in play, an extra pip is required for harvesting. And that's actually bad news for Jen, because she wants to harvest these, uh, this, but normally she'd have to have a, f a five, but now, because of the heat wave, she has to have a six to harvest that eggplant. All right. So anyway, so we have an event going on. We have some, let's see. Now, what do I actually do? Well, I've got an empty basket. I could play this any time of my turn. If I have fewer harvested vegetables than Jen, or all every other player, harvest one vegetable for free, but no chaining. Now, neither of us have harvested anything yet, so that's no good. Late harvest. At the end of your turn, roll one extra die and use it to harvest one of your vegetable tiles, if possible. Although right now, with the heat wave, it's harder to do that. And tomato surprise. At the end of your turn, take a tomato seed from the supply and place it... Oh, oh, that's very nice. I think I'm going to have a tomato surprise this turn. Very, very cool. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see here then. What do I want to do? There's that. I just want to plant that. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Let's see here. Now, this is kind of a problem, having a 5 next to a 2. Because say I want to put this 3 over here. If I water the 5, it won't reach over to the 3 because it stops with the 2. I could put a 3 over here, and then watering this 5 would water both of these. But this 3 is not protected from Jen's bird, nor will it get a bonus. So that's kind of a bummer. And Jen's um, sundial is blocking me from expanding in that direction. That was a well-placed sundial. Uh, you know, it blocks one of my nice bonus spots because of my scarecrow. Hmm. Let's see here. Plus, I know I'm going to get a free tomato at the end of this turn. Well, let's see. Well, actually, first of all, let's see. I've got a 2, a 2, a 5, and a 4. 2, 5 is over here, 2, 4 is over there, 2, 2 is occupied, I cannot plant there, and there's a delivery. Honey? Nope, she can't. You can't get it, right? You, you can? Okay. Oh, how exciting, folks. Something's being delivered. Thanks, honey pie. All right. She's had to put down the torch. She was off making some stuff. Anyway, we can continue. Right, all right. So, 4, 5. 4, 5 also gets me over here. I could plant... But again, I'd just be planting right next to Jen's bird, so that's just falling um, you know, right into the, the lion's den. So, I will go ahead at 4-2. Yeah, I will go ahead and use the 4-2, and I'll plant this other carrot over here. All right, so there we go. That's two of my dice. It's protected. I don't have to worry about it. It's going to be worth five points instead of three. And now I've got this 2-5. The 2-5, I'm certainly not going to do it because this bird will end up eating my tomato. But remember, at the end of the turn, I'm going to have a tomato surprise, which means I'm going to be able to plant a tomato wherever I want. I'll probably plant it in one of these spots. So, or I might plant it over here, far away from the bird. But, you know, in the, in, but anyway, we'll worry about that in a second. So I've still got a 5 and a 2. What am I going to do with a 5 and a 2? 5 and a 2 over there. Now remember, I've also... 
Well, actually, I was going to say, I cannot plant this gnome because I already got this scarecrow out. If I wanted, if I had a six, one of the uses for a six is to change special tiles. So if the six, I could turn this into a sundial or I could replace it with my gnome, but I don't have a six. So what are we going to do here? We are going to, well, you know, what? I think I'll use a five and buy another eggplant because they're going out of style. And remember, there's big points to be have for having three of a kind of eggplants. And one of them has been removed. Jen's got one, I've got one, there's one more. If I can get um, three eggplants, that will actually pay off for me at the end of the game. And now I've got a two left over. What the heck is all that? Oh, that's for you, isn't it? I don't think so. I believe it's for you. And apparently there's more. Okay. Okay, well. Show the nice people your pretty packages. All right. Would you like me to show you on camera in your current state of dress? No. All right, I didn't think so. I have no idea what's in those packages, neither does Dob. We'll have to worry about that later. Anyway, thanks, Honey Pie. So I've still got this two. Alone too. Well, you know what? I guess in for penny and for pound, I might as well go on ahead and buy myself a, um, a carrot. Okay, so now at the end of my turn, I'm going to play Tomato Surprise, which lets me um, grab a tomato seed from the supply, place it in open, a non-star space with one of my discs on it. So I grabbed another tomato, and I, now, unfortunately, now this is tricky. This is my last disc. I have no more discs, which means I can't buy any more seeds. I can't place any more special tiles on the board. Um, I would not be able to use my bird to eat anything because I'm out of discs. So that's something I got to bear in mind. I'll go on ahead and put this over here so that if I water this, both of these get watered and I can try. And now, unfortunately, that means it's not going to get the bonus from the scarecrow, but I'm not really worried about the bird making it all the way over here. And I want to do all these all at once if I can. All right. So. And now, because I used a card at the end of my turn, I'm going to draw a new one, and I get another tomato surprise. That's quite handy. There is a lot of luck to draw with these cards. All right. But anyway, so now it's Jen's turn. Let's see what she is up to. Okay. Jen has taken the boxes away. I have no idea what's happening. Um, anyway, so what do we got? Five, 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 and a two, uh, three. Well, if she got another five, she could have re-rolled if she wanted. Let's see what her cards are. Harvest Moon. Play at any time of your turn, name two types of veggies. All players who currently hold at least two harvested veggies of either type gain five points. Now that's really interesting. So if Jen can arrange it such that she's got harvested stuff that I don't have, then she could get, wow, that's a, you know what, in fact, I think she wants to make you a seed. She's also got farmer's market. Remember, she can only play one card per turn. Play before you buy a seed, buy it at a two pip discount. So she can buy a nice expensive seed with a cheap die. And gardening co-op, play at any time in your turn, spend one die to harvest an opponent's veggie, and then also harvest one of your own for free. Now that's really interesting because maybe Jen desperately wants to harvest something, but she didn't have the dye she needed. She wanted to harvest this five before it got eaten. She could use a gardening thing and harvest like a, a really dinky this thing, which can only score me three points, but then she could harvest her own without having to use her dice. So that's really kind of interesting, but it's interesting that it's sort of a semi, it's, it's a co-op because this is, you know, a, a co-op allotment. But anyway, Jen wants to do her harvest moon. So I think she definitely wants to take advantage of that. So the first thing she's going to do is she's going to, oh, shoot, but here's her problem. She needs a six. She cannot harvest this thing because of the heat wave. She needs a six and she did not roll a six. Now she had her gnome out. The gnome special power is, you know, in the same way that the uh, sundial lets you alter dice for the purpose of placement, this thing lets you alter dice for the purpose of everything else, for watering and harvesting and buying. So if Jen had, but to get this out, she would need a six to be able to convert her sundial into a gnome. And if she had a six, she would just go ahead and do this anyway. That's a real bummer, because Jen would love to be able to do this harvest moon and score 10 points before I've harvested anything. Now, could she do, what could she do, what could she do? She's got the five, three, and a five, five. Five, five is blocked by me. Five, three is way over here, far away, unfortunately, from everything else. Hmm. Although, remember with this, she can change. She can, no, she can plant elsewhere. So she could change a five, three, she could change a five, five into a five, six, and then plant there using her sundial. And so she could get this other, but here's the problem. Since these are the same number, um, you know, it won't filter down, but she could do it. Yeah. No, but she can't. Ah, oh, shoot. If this were a one and Jen planted a one here and then watered it. Then Jen could harvest both of these things. She'd have both of them, and then at the end of her turn, she could name them, and with the Harvest Moon, score a lot of extra points. But unfortunately, 
A two next to a two won't change, so she can't harvest both of those with one die. Oh, that is a bummer. That is a bummer. Let's see here. Now, on the flip side, another interesting thing she could do is she could plant this thing over, you know, again, modifying stuff, changing her 5-3 into, say, a uh, 3-3, or what, uh, into a 4, into a 4-3. And then she could plant her carrot next to mine. But, you know, again, that's kind of a bummer because she would want to plant something lower so that when this thing gets watered, this would get watered automatically. Stupid carrots, those aren't helping anything. Let's see. So, hmm, what is Jen going to do? She can't really make this harvest moon work. Well, no, she could. She could still just, she could harvest a, let's see. So she could buy a squash, and then she could plant the squash, and then she could water the squash, so she'd have all the stuff there, but she wouldn't have harvested it. And she needs to harvest it before, on the harvest moon, she can score her five points. So she's just shy. She can't quite make it work. And see, you know, it's, it's stark contrast. Me, I had tomato surprise. He just fell into my lap, was an awesome freebie. Jen, she did not get so lucky. Um, she could still make use of this, so... You know, she could use her three to buy a, a size four, but you know, Jen's running out of thing, pips because of her fat bird. She needs to, um, to uh, farmer's market, does she want to buy something else? Co-op garden, does she want, she, there's nothing of either side to harvest. Play any time, spend one die to harvest an opponent's veggie. I don't have any veggies, so she can't use the garden co-op and she can't use the harvest moon. That's such a bummer. Well, she could use it, just not to full effect. Because um, she could still use this to make five points right now by only harvesting. You know, with a three, she could harvest carrot because she needs one higher because of the heat wave. So she'd get four points for that. Then at the harvest mood, she'd get five. So she'd get nine points. That's not bad. But she'd really rather get ten points off it. But you know what? The timing just isn't working out right. So I think the first thing Jen's going to do is she's going to use this three to harvest this two. And she's gotten another thing back. So she's giving herself more flexibility. And Jen now has the first to have harvested a vegetable in this game. She gets two times two, so she gets four points. She is on the board. All right. Now, at the end of the turn, she'll still go on ahead and use this Harvest Moon and get five more points. It's just such a bummer. But she needs a six to harvest this. It's a heat wave blocked her. Let's see here. Now, what does she want to do? Five, five is blocked by me. Five, although no, remember, she can, she can change it. She can change a 5-5 five, five into a 6-6 six, six, so she can plant something else here. She'll go on ahead and use her thing to change this 5-5 five, five into a 6-6, six, six, and she'll plant her other carrot here. And now with this 5, she'll go on ahead and get this carrot watered too. All right, so that was her whole turn. And now at the end of her turn, she will play Harvest Moon. She'll name two things. She names carrots and squashes, let's say. And now, all players who hold carrots and squashes get, um, harvested get five points. I don't know either. Jenna owns one. Um, and so she gets five points. All right, so, boom. Actually, wait a minute. I think maybe you can only get five points on this. So, how does it say? All players who currently hold at least two harvested veggies of either type. Oh, shoot. So that doesn't work as well as I thought at all. Okay, so Jen's not going to play this. She needs a second carrot before she can get the harvest moon. All right, well, it's good she got that, so she'll be, able to, she'll be able to do this next turn when she has her second carrot. But in the meantime, so at any time, spend one heart. So that means she didn't get a chance to use any of her cards because she's saving this. She didn't buy anything. That's kind of a bummer. Well, you know what? She doesn't care about, she's just going to discard this so that hopefully she'll get something better. And Oh, wow. Now that, well, okay. It's time for the garden snake that replaces the heat wave a little bit too late. Now, now Jen could have harvested this thing with a five, but okay. And so she still has to keep drawing until she gets her third card. She has gentle rain. All right. So those are her cards. The heat wave has been replaced by a garden snake. All right. So now it's my turn. And let's see what I'm going to do here. All right. Well, I think for starters, I'm going to use this five and I'm going to well, let's see, do I want to plant anything else? If I could plant something over here at 1-1, one, one, but I can't. I have a 1-2, which means here or here, which those spaces are already blocked. Although still, if I were to plant anything here, I'd want it to be a squash so that it could trickle down. And I can't buy any more seeds because I'm out of tiles. So I am going to go on ahead and I'm going to play this 5. And that means I'm going to play it here, which means I'm watering this, and the 5 will trickle down to the 3 and the 2, and all this stuff will be watered. If 
Bye. Blah. Blah. Okay. And now I'll use this six to harvest. Starting here, that means I'm going to harvest all three of these. And now remember, these because of the scarecrow are worth three more. So that's eight plus five plus three. Nice. All righty. So I get all of these back. I say, what was it? I've already forgotten. So it's um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 points I just made. Boom. And now I've got three things harvested. Although, oh, actually, wait a minute. Hmm, empty exit. You know what? Before I did all of this, before I played to water these things, let's just put these back for a second. Before I played this to water and this to harvest, First of all, since I have nothing harvested, I'm going to play the empty basket. Play at any time of your turn. If you currently hold fewer harvested veggies than your opponent, harvest one veggie for free. Oh wait, actually that's no good because I don't have any veggies to harvest. Although, you know what? Okay, no, actually. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this two and I'm going to water this carrot. That was the first thing I did, right? And now the second thing, anytime I'm going to turn, I'm going to play empty basket and that lets me harvest something for free. I'll harvest this carrot thanks to my empty basket. And now I will water and harvest these things and get the big triple. So I got all those points and I got two more points, one, two, for that carrot, which I got to harvest for free. And now the nice thing is you can see I'm starting to go, I've got two out of three carrots. If I can get one more carrot harvested, then boom, I can score 10 points at the end of the game. And now Jen, she is cursing the fates because I've suddenly gotten two carrots harvested. If Jen uses a harvest moon and declares carrots, which is what she was building towards, I'll get five points. So Jen's missed her shot at a harvest moon with this double carrots. Oh, that's a bummer for her. Everything is not going her way. The cards are definitely favoring me. Let's move all these over so the static cam folks can see all of this goodness I've got. All right, so here's my seeds I've still got. Here's what I've harvested so far. Okay, and I'm at 18 points. Jen is at 9. All right. And I think, oh no, and I still have a 1. Right, so I'll go ahead and use the 1, and I will buy myself some squash seeds. And I can't buy, or yeah, and I can still buy more because I've got more tiles left over. All right, so that was my turn. Very, very successful turn. At the end of my turn, I'm going to draw back up. And I got a miracle plant. Hooray! I'll worry about that on my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. What's she going to do? Now, what does this gentle rain do? Play any time your turn. Spend one die to water an opponent's seed. Then also water one of your own for free. And so, uh, of any value, no chain occurs. So once again, Jen's got these cards that if she had high value stuff and she didn't get the high value dice, she could use these cards to still water and harvest them um, for free effectively, even though she didn't have the dice she needs. But the penalty is she would have to do some of my stuff as well. Although it's interesting, I don't have anything right now. So now is the perfect time for Jen to use these guys because I've got nothing on the board. But anyway, let's see what Jen's actually going to roll, shall we? See what she's going to do. All right. Uh, four, five, six, and a one. All right. So with this six or this five, she could harvest, get both of these harvested, score some big points. But again, she doesn't now she doesn't want to do the harvest moon until she's got two of a different type. So I think for starters, she's going to buy the last, um, the last eggplant seed. And now it's interesting. So that means Jen's got one eggplant. I've got one eggplant. She's got another seed. There's another one. One's been removed from the game. So unless one of us steals seeds from the other using our birds, nobody is going to be able to get the three-of-a-kind bonus on eggplants. All right, so that was her first thing. And um, let's see. And in recent days, because she wants to have two eggplants harvested so that she could do harvest moon off eggplants. Although the problem with that is, of course, uh, by that point, I might have two eggplants harvested as well. So maybe Jen doesn't want to do that. Let's hold on. There's a surprising amount to think about in this game. All right. Now, also, what else? Let's see here. Now, there's another thing Jen could do. Um, where is her bird? Her bird is at 6-4. She happened to get a 6-4, although remember, she can always convert different things. Jen could play 6-4 to wipe my bird. Well, no, actually, that's not quite true. Je um, if you have the dice that equal the coordinate of a bird plus a 6, 
you can kick somebody's bird or somebody's bird or rabbit off the board. And so, if Jen wanted to use her sundial to convert this, this 5-4, into a 6-4, which she could do, she could then use this 6 and knock my bird out. But, you know, she's not really worried about my bird, so, but that's something you can do. More importantly, though, if Jen wanted to, she could convert this 5-4 into a 5-5 and knock her own bird off the board, and that means she would be getting these markers back. And, you know, at some point, you might want to do that if your bird gets too fat and it's really proving to be a problem for you. But as it stands right now, what does Jen want to do? Let's see here. Well, she wants to do her harvest moon, so she needs two of something that I don't have. So I think, well, let's see. For stars, I guess she'll go on ahead and buy the last eggplant anyway, just because she can. And then she'll use this four to buy an artichoke. And she'll use this five to buy an artichoke. And so now all of her um, markers are tied up again on seeds. But if she can, you know, get these two artichokes planted and grown, then, you know, Bob's her uncle. Although the problem is this carrot is in the way. She, she wants to put this four over here so it'll trickle down. But, you know, ah, well, anyway, so that leaves her with a one left over. Now, what is she going to do with this one? Well, she can't buy anything else because all of her markers are tied up with all these high-value things. She can't plant anything with only one. She can't buy a seed. She With a one, she can't water. Um, unfortunately, with a one, she cannot harvest. Hmm. Well, you know what she could have done? Instead of having bought this second artichoke, let's say she used that one and bought herself a squash. Uh, let's say she did that instead. And so that left her with um, a four left over and... No, no, no. That left her with a five left over, and she will use this five to go on ahead and harvest this, which trickles down to this. So she has harvested both of these. That's seven, eight, um, that's ten plus four. So she just scored 14 points off of harvesting these two things. All right, so nine plus 14 is 23. And all of her stuff is off the board now. And she, right, so she harvested and then she bought three things, which she's hoping to get planted. And if she's the first who can get a pair of right, let's see. Oh, also the harvest. Oh, you know what? Actually, when she used that one, instead of buying a squash, she could have played the farmer's market, which gave her a two disc point discount. Which means with a one, she could have bought a three instead, which is implicitly more valuable. So let's say she did that, and that let her draw another card, which is handsome Jack. Okay. And so we've, um, she's got three things harvested. I've got four. The board has been completely wiped clean. And it's my turn again. Let's keep going. Let's see, what did I get? Five, five, five. Wow, that's a, I think that's the third time I've gotten triple fives in this game. That's very strange. Now, what does Miracle Plant do? Uh, when you play this, when you water a seed, immediately harvest that seed for free. This cancels any star or scarecrow bonuses. So that's kind of nice, just if you need a quickie. Tomato surprise. I can get another free tomato at the end of my turn. Uh, which I'm definitely going to do. And late harvest, play at the end of your turn, roll one extra die and use it to harvest. All right. So I'm going to get a tomato surprise at the end of my turn. I got to get all these seeds planted. And I want to, if possible, plant them over here because Jen's bird is still around. So what did I get? I got a bunch of fives. Five, 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 which is all right here. That doesn't help me. And a five, three lets me plant here or here. Wow. Again, right next to Jen's bird. That was a terrible roll for trying to get stuff planted. Now remember, if I want to, anytime I want, I could give this up and do a re-roll. And I didn't even get a single six. If I'd gotten a six, I might be tempted now to turn my scarecrow into this so I could get more control over my coordinates. Wow. And the thing is, I have to use these dice. I, I, I can't not. So if, if all else fails, I might have to put a 5-3 out here. And um, you know, a 5-3 which was here or here, which means Jen's bird could eat it. You know what, let's go on ahead and do that, because I have to use my, I'll, but I'll put this squash here, and I'm going to assume Jen has no particular desire to gobble up my squash. Okay. Although it's interesting, what I could do is, I could actually put something really valuable here, and then I could use another die to move my bird here and block Jen's bird. So I could play a tactical blocking game. That's really kind of interesting. Let's see. Hmm. In which case, why not? Now also, let's see, um, another thing I could do is, since I, particularly since I just got the Miracle Plant, I could use 5-5. Five, five. Ah, such a bummer. Jen's bird is right in the way. 
And I can't get rid of it because I would need a 6 in addition to the 5-5. Five, five. So I can't plant right here, but if I could, I'd be getting the double. But what I could do is, let's say I just use this 5-3, five, 5-3, three, five, three, and I'll put my eggplant here, right? Boom. All right, so I use that. Now, I will use a 5 to water this eggplant, and so now it's all ready to harvest. And I could use this other 5 to harvest it and score 5 points. Or I could use Miracle Plant. I'll use that. Play this when you water a seed. I just watered a seed with that five, and now harvest that for free, but get no bonuses. So I get to harvest this for free, and I just scored five points. One, two, three, four, five. And I've still got one more die. I didn't have to waste a die to harvest because I used that card instead. Well, this means I cannot use the Tomato Surprise. But what am I going to do with this five? Well, I got nothing to water, so I guess I'll go on ahead and buy an artichoke, since I don't have any artichokes yet, and they're very valuable. There we go. And so now at the end of my turn, I gotta draw back up. And so far, Garden Snake is, if anybody rolls Snake Eyes, what do they get to do? Um, they get to, they get five points, basically. But so far, nobody's rolled Snake Eyes. Let's see if Jen can roll Snake Eyes and take advantage of that Garden Snake. She cannot. Two, three, 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 five. Okay, so. Jen's turn. What is going to go on? So she, we need to start getting stuff planted, and so five, three, three. Although again, Jen can modify stuff. Let's see. So if she wants, she could go five, four. No, she would need to go six, four, six, four, which would put her there. She needs to be able. To, you need a six and a five, a five and a five, a six and a six, or a six and a five. She can't do it. She cannot modify to get planted into the two X spaces. Uh, but she does need to get these things planted. And remember, she's still saving up for that Harvest Moon. Um, so, let's see, what does Handsome Jack do? Play before you harvest a veggie. Harvest it at a 2-pip discount, so this lets her harvest stuff cheaper than normal. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and start getting some stuff planted, even if she can't get into the 2Xs, which is a real bummer. Well, what she could do, if she could get over here, she could then flip this. But again, she would need a 6 to be able to flip this to convert it into a Scarecrow so she could get bonus points. Um, but 3-2 means she could plant right there. And 5-3, which she modifies. Yeah, what the heck, let's go ahead and do that. Jen's going to start planting by her own thing. So 5-3 is here, is actually 5-3. Three. This is actually at 5-3, and the other 5-3 is over here, which is too far away. So she could do 3-3, three, three, which would let her go right there, and then that would leave her with a 5-2. But unfortunately, they wouldn't be able to... Right, she wants to synchronize these things, but remember, she can change numbers. I keep forgetting that. Um, so what is she going to do? She would like, say, 3-3 uh, three, three to put one here, and then... Right, so she'll 3-3, three, three, and she'll put this 5-pointer. So she's planted that there. And, oh, but my, it's dangerous, it's exposed to my bird. So actually what she really wants to do is like a 3, over here would be much safer, at 3-1. So she has the 3, and then she could turn this from a 2 into a 1. And now she has one more pip she could change. All right, so 5-3, uh, 5-2 would put one right there. So she'll use her other pip to change this into a 5-2, and then she will put her 3 right here at 5-2. Okay, so she's gotten a couple of things planted, so that's pretty nice. And the interesting thing is, if she could have if put a 2-2 two -two here and put this here, then she'd have a nice change. She waters this and it all trickles down. So that's pretty cool. But she's using up all her dice. But before she's done, I think she is now going to have a gentle rain. At any time in your turn, spend one die. Oh, she has to spend a die. She used no, so she can't use that now. Shoot. She doesn't want to do her Harvest Moon because we'll both score five points because we both have the same doubles. And in fact, she, I've gotten the double she was thinking about getting. And Handsome Jack, play before you harvest a veggie. So she's, I guess she'll hold on to all of these. All right, so that was her turn. Now it's my turn. All right, no snake eyes yet. All right, where am I going? All right, so I got a bunch of stuff I need to get planted too. Five, six means I could go right here, right next to Jen's bird, but it's in the double zone. Hmm. Or two, two. Well, Jen's blocked my own two, two. I can't, it's going to be harder for me to plant next to my own stuff because Jen's planting around there. Or I could send my bird out. One, two, three, four, five. I could use this five to move the, move, move the bird here, and then I could spend, yeah, let's heck, let's do it. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that's even more perfect. Oh, poor Jen. 
So I will move um, my bird over here with this 5. Then I'll use this 2 to move it here. And then I'll use this 6 so that it uh, forces the, the, yeah, the, the bird to spit out the seeds. And so I just claimed this eggplant seed. I've stolen it from Jen, and now I could go for the three of a kind. And I've stolen it all from Jen, and I've still got a two. What am I going to do with that two? Eh, what the heck? I'll buy another carrot. Because I could maybe go for four of a kind on carrots. That's pretty cool. All right, so that was that. And Jen's big plans have just been ruined and destroyed. She was thinking I wouldn't go for her. Um, and, you know, she'd have time to roll a six and flip this to make a scarecrow. But it seems that Jen cannot roll a six to save her life. Wow. And I really rickrolled her there. That was really quite nasty. Um, but anyway, so she's still got to turn around. <sighs> what is she going to do with all this stuff? <laughs> well... She could gentle rain using this one to get this thing planted at least, so that the bird can't get it. Let's see, one three. So she could turn this into a two three, plant something here. Yeah, I guess she will. She'll go on ahead. She'll plant this here at two one, which uh, she'll, so this is her first of two pip changes. So she planted that, and now, uh, see, she has nothing more to plant. But she will go on ahead and water these things because otherwise my bird will just eat them again. Because you can see, I, my bird can still eat. So she's going to water those because a bird cannot eat actual vegetables. And let's see, she can use the general rain. Well, the general rain does not allow her chain, so that's not really going to help her very much. But she will go on ahead and use this five to be able to water this four, and that flips it. All right, and then all this goes away. Now, she's still got a three, which means she can't harvest this and create the chain action, but Handsome Jack lets, and chaining still occurs normally, so Handsome Jack lets her harvest with a two pip discount. So this three effectively turns into a five, which will let her harvest both of these things, and then boom, she's got seven points. But the problem is, Jen didn't want to do that because she wanted to roll a six so she could flip this thing, turn it into a scarecrow, because then that's six extra points here. So does she want to wait? She could, she could take the seven points now or potentially get 13 points later. But if she doesn't, what else is she going to do? Well, she could use this three, this three she still has, to buy a tomato. And then she could potentially have, yeah, what the heck, she'll buy a tomato. Because then eventually, you know, she declares tomatoes, and if she has two tomatoes and I don't have any, because I've only got one, but all right, we'll see, we'll see what she does. So she's taking a bit of a risk, hoping to roll a six, if she could ever roll a six to save her life. Um, right, okay, so my turn again. And what do I got? I got six, four, four, one. All righty, what are we going to do here? I got a whole bunch of stuff to plant. Uh, oops. Right, and, and I really want to get these, um, car, car, these carrots planted. Oh, the interesting thing, too, is the game's almost over. Once the rest of these seeds are bought, the game is over, and I am clearly doing much better than Jen. I will see. Well, actually, not yet. Neither of us get any bonus points, because nobody has three of a kind, nobody has a full straight, but I'm doing pretty well. I think I want to start planting and growing like crazy, which, of course, is what this game is all about. So now, where am I going to plant? Um, again, I've got 4-4, four, four, which is over here, 4-1, four, which is over here or over here. I can't plant anywhere near my scarecrow. But the interesting thing is, maybe to heck with that, I'll take this 6 and I'll turn this into a sundial, and now I can start planting wherever I want. Or, well, with a little bit more flexibility anyway, because I can change, I can change this into a 5-5. Five, five. Although, again, Jen's bird blocks me. I want to plant over here, but maybe I'm, let's see. So many options. Plus, Halloween. Play this while this car is in play. Oh, oh crap! We have a new event. I didn't even notice that. I drew an event and didn't see it. While this car is in play, the Scarecrow bonus is one point higher than normal. All right, so that didn't happen because nobody had... Although that's all the more reason for Jen to try and turn this into a Scarecrow so she can get an even bigger bonus. So, all right. Anyway, so I have another card then instead. I've got a, a, a late harvest. I have two late harvests. Play the end of your turn, roll a die, and use it for harvesting. All right, I just need to start getting stuff planted. With this late harvest, though, I could potentially harvest only using one die. 
or you know, you know, getting free harvest. So let's just get stuff planted. Um, let's see, so if I harvest plant two things, that'd be uh, six, four, and four, one. They're a million miles away from each other. Now, ideally, if nothing else, I'd at least like to um, plant next to Jen's because then maybe I could piggyback off of her actions, but I'm just really far away and I'm very close to Jen's bird. So I don't really have any good options, but I want to keep my scarecrow out to potentially benefit from Halloween. Crap. But I really do, I just, I really, I think I am going to do it so that I can start getting a little bit more control. Right. So now this could be a 3 1, um, or more importantly, this could be a 5 5. Should be right there, um, or a six four, which is not good enough. So I still, interestingly, I cannot get over into the the high point spaces. Oh wow! I just realized I could do something else if I really wanted to be mean. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's let's just continue to be mean because again, these critters are so mean. I'm going to use a six not to flip my scarecrow. I'm going to flip my bird, turn him into a rabbit. Rabbit can eat produce. I'm now going to spend one and I'm going to move this rabbit over here. And that means Jen has just lost this artichoke. And since I've got a four left over, I'll go ahead and spend this four so that the rabbit spits out the seeds and I just got um, a free seed. All right. And now I've still got a four left over, which I could use to just, oh wow, why not? Let's just be super cruel and move the rabbit here and eat Jen's tomato. And now I don't have any dice left over, so the tomato, the seeds got spat out, that tomato is removed from the game, and my rab... Oh, well, no, I can't do that. Oh, because I don't have any more pieces. So, I'm sorry, I cannot do that because I don't have any, my rabbit can't eat that. So I can't steal that from Jen. With this last four, what am I going to do? Mm, what the heck, I'll buy some more seeds. Nope, but I can't buy seeds either, because again, I'm out of stuff. So, interestingly, I can't do anything with this last four. I got nothing to water. So, I, I'm not going to do anything, but let's see. And at the end of my turn, I cannot use my tomato surprise because all my stuff is... But still, that was pretty cool to steal four points from Jen, which if she'd gotten this around would have been eight points. But, all right, so Jen's turn. Once again, she has been completely thwarted. And let's see. Now, finally, the dice go her way. She finally gets this six. But it's too late. Her stuff is gone. And with this other 6-1, she can't plant anywhere near her new Scarecrow. So that is a real bummer. Wow. Although still, she could do this and then harvest that and get um, 6, 7 points. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. And, and she still has it, so she could modify these as well. She could turn this into... Well, although the 6-6 six, six over here, she could start planting over in Niceville. Let's just go on ahead and do that. Plant over in Niceville. And with a 1-1, one, one, let's just go on ahead. Huh. Well, you know, actually, so she cannot water this with a 1, but she'll use the gentle rain. I have nothing on the board, but she'll use a 1 to water this. All right, and so she's used a card, and now she could use Handsome Jack to turn this one to harvest this thing, but uh, she's already used her card this turn. With her last one, what is she going to do? She'll buy some squash. Okay, and then she draws a card, and she gets Bonnie Jill and Handsome Jack, and now it's my turn again. Lots of twos and a three. Okay, and what am I going to do? All right, I still need to get all this stuff planted, but finally... Two threes, hooray, I can finally plant next to my scarecrow again while Halloween is still going on. So I should definitely do that. Let's plant the, the highest value thing I've got. This, all right, so I planted that at two, three. Oops, I'm sorry, no. Uh, oh, 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 crap, crap, crap. Two, two, I need two, one. Oh no, I need, to, I have two, two, and I have two, three. I, I can't plant it either. Ah! Shoot. Two, three, two, three, those are both taken. Two, two is taken. And I cannot modify, so I can't. I can't plant anywhere. Every one of my potential spaces is blocked. That's crazy. Okay. Well, now I gotta start running down the road of maybe I do wanna give up five points to re-roll, because I don't wanna spend a whole, because I can't buy anything more. I've got nothing to water. 
So I will literally do nothing this turn unless I re-roll because I'm so blocked out over there. I think it is worth losing five points to re-roll and see if I can do something this turn. All right, that's a little bit more like it. Wow, okay. Six fours, six fives, I could start planting over here next to Jen's stuff. Her bird might eat me, um, et cetera, et cetera. I've lost five points now because I had tossed that. But I'm, I'm still thinking it's worth it just so I can start getting some stuff planted. Plus, I can plant in the high value now, and I get a late harvest. So if I just plant and um, water really quickly, like at six five, six five, Six, five is occupied ah, by Jen's stupid, stupid bird. And six, four, no, six, four still gets me the points. All right, so let's put this over here in the six, four. All right, now I need to water this sucker. So I'll use a five to water it so that Jen's bird can't eat it. And I've, hey, I got a thingy back, or no, I don't. Now with this three, I cannot harvest. But late harvest, I will play this at the end of my turn to roll one extra die and harvest if possible. All right. And with this three, what can I do? I can't buy it. So my three, I still can't do anything because I've spread myself so thin. This has been a terrible mistake, having all these things and not planting them. But now I'm going to play my late harvest. I get to roll one die. Come on, give me a five or a six. A four, which I can't harvest anything, so I didn't get it done. And miracle plant. Play when you water a seed. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. So it's Jen's turn again. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there because I'm at 40 minutes. I think you guys have definitely seen a little bit of everything. The, you know, the game is coming closer to an end. I'm doing really well, but I've really kind of hurt myself by spreading myself too thin here. I really should have been planting more and collecting less. Um, whereas Jen, she has a little bit more flexibility. She's, you know, although I'm kind of way ahead in points or points potential anyway, but I've also pushed myself up against the wall. It's a really interesting situation, but we're going to stop right there and go to final thoughts now in five, four, three, two, one.